Hello everybody. I am so excited to share today's workshop for with you. So you guys, I'm gonna show you how to make, these are the cutest, 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 I love this. So these are coin envelopes. These are coin envelopes, so you can make one. These are double-sided. So I'm gonna show you how to make, these are coin envelopes. Um, I actually, out of one sheet of paper, I was able to make four. Um, these are double-sided, so I actually even wanted to show you I did this. So you guys, I got four coin envelopes. Um, and so if you watched yesterday's class, I loved how simple, easy, this one is just as simple, but this one you're gonna overlap, we're gonna overlap um, the back sheets. So I will show you that, um, it's really cool. And I try to keep it really simple because I always like to add gems. You could totally add the, what do they call that? The fastener where you go back and forth, back and forth. Oh yeah, the you, little string thing. Yeah, the string thing, what do we call that? String thing. Brian, it's not called a string call thing. It the figure eight string because that's what it looks like. Mm. Well, you could totally do that. And I've done that before, but I thought I would keep it really simple. So what we're gonna do today's class is these really cool coin envelopes. I put a little tape here just because so that you could kind of see that it would close. You can decide how you wanna close it. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make four of these with one sheet of paper. That's right, you guys, one sheet of paper. And um, I'm just gonna show these briefly to you. So this is one, two, three, four, that you will be able to make out of one sheet of paper. Okay, you guys, this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, 12 by 12, um, and what you're gonna do, or at least how I like to do it, is I like to cut mine to be eight inches wide. And then I know for me, I want to go ahead and cut the second piece. Um, so I'm doing eight by eight. So this is a piece. My first one is going to be eight by eight. What we're making, we're making the larger one right now, and um, it, this will all vary depending on how big you want your flap on the top and the bottom. So you may go, oh, I want my flap smaller, bigger, whatever. So just keep that in mind. This is all, a, you're able to customize this depending on what you want. So what I do is um, in order, because you want your flaps to overlap. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to score it, and I like to come in at, um, this is one, I like to come in at two and one fourth, okay? Now this is two and one fourth, and just to kind of give you an idea, what we're gonna do here is we are going to overlap these, if that makes sense, we're gonna overlap these two pieces in the center. So I, on the eight inch side, which they were eight, I came in at two and one fourth inch. So that if you're going from the one side, that is five and um, three quarters on the one side. And then I'm gonna score it on the opposite side. I'm gonna do two and one fourth. Now I'm doing this to make it really easy. As you're doing this, so basically two and one fourth and five and three quarters is what I did for eight inches. Now again, you're gonna be able to decide when you're doing your coin envelopes, you can go, oh, why? maybe you don't want, because I overlapped quite a bit on this, but I wanted mine to be a little bit thinner. As you're practicing this, you'll be able to decide you may wanna make your coin envelope wider, and that's completely fine. But I decided to, I like to um, give it a good overlap here. And then, this, I then can decide, do I want this to be on the outside of my envelope or do I want the floral? And since I have the floral on this one, I'm actually gonna have my solid, really pretty color here. And then, um, so for the top of mine, I can decide, I'm gonna go a full inch and this is the top flap of my coin envelope. So I came down an inch. Again, if you wanted it to be, a, you could do like, even if you wanted to, like an inch and a half. So just so you know, this is very customizable what you want. And then on the bottom, I like to have a nice bottom so that um, 
it when it folds up it has a really nice it can really hold stuff in there so I always go at least usually an inch if I can if I'm doing smaller I will show you um, on some of these smaller ones I went a half an inch so this is what you should have you will have I just did one inch and one inch on each side and then you should have something that looks just like this and then I just like to take it and I take my scoring board and I like to make sure I have good creases on all the things that we just did. So this is an eight by eight piece. Okay, and so now that you're here, um, what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut out this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and because I want you to be able to kind of see it, I'm just gonna give you like a little right here if you're at home watching this and can't, basically where I'm Xing out these four pieces, you're gonna cut this out. Anytime you make this particular envelope, you wanna cut out these four sections on the score lines. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Teresa Collins scissors, and I just go in, and I'm gonna cut those out. You guys, I could make these all day long. I love, love, love paper, and I was telling my husband, since we've been doing these projects, you know, three, four, five times a week, I've been going through a lot of paper. So don't feel bad if you are going through a lot of paper. Um, and you know, like my husband, what would my husband say? Oh, you can buy more paper, right? It's just paper. <laughs> it's just paper. Brian's like, yes, please buy more paper. We love it. We really appreciate your support. It's, you've really been awesome to support us. Okay, so here we go. So. It could be top or bottom. This all works because I did an inch on both, so it could be either or. I cut out the four sections here, and then um, you can decide. Now, you can go and you could taper it, and I wanted to show you both ways. So you could cut it along the top. You could take this like this, and you could cut there, or you could round your corners. I actually love the rounded on this. So I decided in today's workshop, I'm going to round mine. So you just take your corner rounder and on all four sides, I think it really gives it like a professional looking, you know, like, and then I'm going to come in with the, my corner rounder. Um, and so there you go. Look how cute this is. I love this, you guys. So now what you're going to do is, as you can see, this overlaps. So what I'm going to do and um, I'm just gonna use my Teresa, this is just my regular adhesive, my Mega Runner. Now, some of you are gonna go, well, if you're gonna put a lot of things in here, say you're gonna put weight, maybe you're gonna put something, I would definitely say, um, if you're gonna put anything with substantial, this is perfect. But if you are doing something that maybe you're afraid it would come off, then use like a double-sided tape. So, in fact, I'm actually gonna do my double-sided tape along the bottom. Um, I usually always do that. I like to um, make sure that the bottom, this is gonna be with the bottom of my envelope, and I just like to take my tape, and I like to, you know, put that on there and make sure that I get a really good, <laughs> why are you looking at me that way, you guys? If you could see my husband right now. Looking, I, looking extra sexy today. Oh, Oh, uh, my, I'm so sorry, you guys. Thank you that you think I look cute. Okay, so distracted. I'm so sorry, you guys. He was giving me like goo goo eyes. Okay, so here we've got adhesive right here, and then you're just gonna fold that up. Now, what I like to do after I fold it up, I like to take, oh gosh, you guys, I didn't even do that straight. See what you've done to me, Brian Weber? Not my fault. Yeah, that was your fault. So there we go. And then I just, there we go. Here we go. Look how beautiful that is. I don't know if you can see that. It looks so good. And then you've got a pocket there, you guys. You got a pocket. Now, um, if I wanted to, um, and then I'm gonna fold this over, and then I like to just make sure I get it. There we go, so nice. So then we have our envelope here. And like, so if you buy envelopes, you'll know that these are expensive. I know, I've done it before myself where I, you could have bought like three or four of these and you're gonna spend like $3.99 to buy these. And sometimes they do have the, um, the circle here. And so what I wanted to show you is um, what you could do. Where's my hole punch, babe? I wanted to show. Um, where did I put my hole punch? What are you looking for? 
I was looking for my um, hole punch. Okay, that'll work. Okay, so this is just the Teresa Collins one. This is the one that has the heart. Let's just go ahead and do. We're gonna we're gonna pretend like this isn't a heart, but let's just. Okay, so so there's a heart there. So you could add your Brad there. Now you're gonna say, okay, well Teresa, you have two more pieces of paper, you know, because this was the largest. And so let's go over this. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your. Um, trimmer and this one is eight inches so this will work here and then you're going to take the other sheet here and you're going to cut that at eight inches so you should have three pieces left so eight inch eight inch and then this one should be four inches i'm sure it is yes four inches so these are your three remaining pieces and we're going to make envelopes with these three remaining pieces and that will make for a total of four Okay, and I kind of love that you don't have to do a lot of cutting. It's just very simple. And um, because I already had flowers on the opposite side, I think I'm gonna continue um, making these on the, on the solid side. So you will need your scoreboard out again. And what I did on this one is you're gonna do the exact same thing. So you can come in and you could do the, the two and one fourth. And I decided to do that just because I didn't want anyone to get confused. So I'm going in two and one fourth inches from both sides, two and one fourth, and this is five and three fourths. And then I did the exact same thing. Um, this is gonna be the top of my envelope and I can decide, I think I'm gonna come in an inch on the top, just like I did last time, but this time, I'm gonna do my bottom just to show you that you can. My bottom, instead of coming in at an inch, I'm gonna do at just a half an inch. So it still works the exact same way. So then you can see it's gonna be completely different, but we're gonna do the exact same thing we did last time. We're gonna cut off the, the sides along the bottom, the top, both tops and so you can see on this one I did the flaps were one inch where on the bottom I did a half an inch and that's what I really wanted you to see that you can customize and you can decide you know really what you want to do on any of these okay so we have this one just like that I'm gonna hand this to my husband. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to close mine and then I like to, it makes it a lot easier to go in and do your corner round. Again, if you would rather not corner round, you could also come in at an angle with your scissors and do that as well. So you can see we have the flaps, this, this, and now this one here, let's go ahead and do this side. Let's do that. So again, take your your scoring tool, your bone folder, whatever you have, give it a really nice edge here, and then you're gonna fold in and fold in, and then it'll be visually how you want it to look. You could kind of decide, I feel like this looks better with this. Um, I'm using my floral market, and I'm going to put some adhesive here, close that, and then again, you could just use your adhesive on the bottom here, but in order for it to really stay well, I, I just recommend using a good double-sided tape. You don't really need to do a red line tape on this. I've, noted, I've done these for a long time, and this, this is just a regular um, double-sided tape. Totally works fine. Um, look how nice that is. That is perfect. And then we have the top here, oops, here we go. Oh, by the way, like I've noticed here, cause this is just a little, when I folded this over, I've noticed I have a little bit, it's not quite straight. So don't feel, don't feel bad if you have to trim it sometimes, cause sometimes that just happens. And I just shave that down a little bit. Luckily, ooh, good, I didn't cut that. Cause sometimes I have been known to do that too. And so then I'm gonna take this, I'm going to take my flap, there we go. And it really will look better if you like press this down. So here you go. There is your second envelope. Again, I'm gonna do, so you could change this up, you guys. Maybe you don't want it to overlap as much. You could go in if you wanted to, but I'm still, just to make it simple, you guys, I'm gonna do two and one fourth from each side. So again, I went two and one fourth 
five and three fourths. And then on the top, this is so cute, this has to be the bottom. So I'm just gonna come up and I'm gonna do, I didn't even do an inch for my flap, you guys, just to show you that you can change it along the bottom. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually do three quarters on the bottom just to, you know, just to change it up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that. And then you're gonna take your last piece. Now this is four inches and you're gonna go, what? This is so tiny, how are you gonna do this? So what you're gonna do on this one, you're gonna take this and um, what I did is I came in one and one fourth. Does that make sense? Yep. So one and one quarter, one and one fourth. So this is very tiny, you guys. This is, oh, you know what? I didn't need to come in that much. Okay, one. Okay, I did that last time too. Oops, one, 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 one. I forgot. Okay, so see that, that'll go, sh so on the small one, I came in because I forgot it was so tiny. I did one, and then I went two and three quarters on the tiny one, so on the fourth one. It was a little different because this is only four by four, so if you did it exactly, and um, it wouldn't quite, it qu wouldn't quite fit. So then we're gonna come, and I'm gonna give this one, I'm, on, I'm gonna do three quarter inch of a flap, and I'm, I'm strategically just showing you, you could do one inch. You could do whatever you want. There are absolutely no rules. I'm coming in a half an inch on this little one, only because I want a little bit more space. And don't worry, I did score that one wrong. I did two and one quarter, but I really wanna just do, or I should say one and one quarter, but I just really wanted one. Sorry if I'm confusing you. Didn't mean to do that, but I wanted to show you that. So. And you won't be able to see because once you've made it, you can't even tell. So I've got these two and I'm gonna quickly show you how to cut those out. I'm gonna give this board, I am done with the board. So we're gonna do this again. So on this one, this small one here, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna cut along the bottom. So here we go again, you decide, you know, and stripes are one of those things where I'm kind of, I like to make sure that it lines up and you can see that it lines up. And then because this is a little bit thinner, I actually am gonna just use my double-sided tape on the smaller envelope because that might make it a little bit easier so that I can make sure that I didn't get the adhesive. Cause you wanna make it a, you wanna make sure that it is a pocket. And so we'll do this. So this, I love okay. <laughs> these, these crazy nails crazy nails. Here we go. These nails have been awesome in the quarantine. Now, these are just on press on nails. Did you know that, babe? Mine are too. Your nails are not... Okay, wait a minute. You didn't want me to do this. You no, won't... go ahead. Okay, I'm okay to do this. Okay, so corner rounder. I I really think the corner rounder makes it look like more um, store-bought instead of DIY. So look at how cute that is. Is that not the cutest? Okay, sorry. Who does not like tiny tiny little envelopes, these coin envelopes. Like I'm saying, this is the one I think we should put like the like the tooth fairy stuff in, Brian. Like, yeah, th perfect. they could be so cute, right? Here we go, there we go. Look how cute, is this not the cutest? Look at this one, you guys. It's really cool. That's so cute, right? It is very cool. So you could put anything in there. I, this is so cute, and like, I just love this. And we are going to, again, we're gonna cut this along the line, right there. Okay, you guys, Mr. Weber, Brian, Chad, Weber. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Here we go. So we have this. Look how cute this is. So what I'm going to do, oh gosh, I love this. This is like, this is one of the pinks I use all the time in my line. So you're probably familiar with it. If you're familiar with my products, you know that I love this color. So I'm going to do the solid kind of almost like a salmon-y pink, but I love it. It's like my summer go-to color. Um, okay, and I should have glued, did I not glue that, you guys? I forgot to glue that part. I just folded that over and didn't glue it. That's kind of funny. Okay, well, let's just open this up. See, I love that I make mistakes on camera because then you can see that I am not the paper wizard. <laughs> Oh, I think you are. I'm not. I'm not. I just have a lot of fun doing this, though. So, okay, now, do you want to do it, or do you want me to do it? You do it. Oh, you my gosh. Okay, it? so I think what he wants me to do, I think he wants me to take it's this circle punch. Out, it you in. want me to go, like, a little fancy, like one of our... Okay, Brian Weber. No, no, further. you got to bite off the whole thing right there. What? Put you want... The edge. Yes. You want it right there? Yeah, I do. 
Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, stop. You were like a little bossy today. So you want me to do it? What if I didn't do it? Did I do it? Okay, everybody. This one is Brian's contrib. What in the world? I knew you wouldn't like it. I don't know if I like that. Do you like that? Mm, I mean, it's different, no, Brian. Brian. Hey, it's just paper. It's fine. Okay. So you got three out of four that you like. Okay. Well, this is a little different. Um, it sounded better in my head. Okay. Let me see if I can. I can. I can. Oh, geez. I can't. This is this is oh, what it is, so you guys. You're doomed. I'm doomed. Okay. So you guys, we have one that Brian did. I'm saying you did this one. Okay, Brian's, and then this one, and then this really cute one. And then we have this really cute one too. So we made four, you guys, all in with one sheet of paper. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Love you guys. Thanks, guys.